This is the ultimate quest vlog where we don't talk about earthquakes. After last week's episode on opportunistic germs, we had some great feedback. Amazing feedback. Yes, and we really liked this one from Estelle. Uh, she was repeating someone that she heard recently saying, Not only do you reap what you sow, you also can't reap what you don't sow. Ooh. And ba boom that's telling you. Thank you, Estelle. Big shout out. Uh, we also had this video sent in by Sarah. Some amazing uh, footage. This is incredible live footage of baby Lily watching uh, last week's episode. And I don't know, Daz, I, I, not quite our target audience, but, no. uh, but there it is. I guess Teletubbies, watch out, we're coming. Uh, also with a complete range of merchandise available at a store near you. Well, Jason, in Melbourne, it is cold. And I'm just so grateful that we have our own little fire to keep us warm here in the studio. You might not understand how just how cold it actually is. Probably don't. Especially if you are one of our hot dog barbecuing July 4th celebrating American friends, or if you're one of our viewers from the north. The north. The boring north. 25 degrees Always warm. I mean, what's the point of that? Yeah. You know, you might be from the land of the long white iceberg in New Zealand, but that's another story. But if you happen to be from the center of civilization, mm. the home of all culture, arts, and sports, and sarcasm, uh, Melbourne, then you'll know that it is really cold. It has been jolly cold. It has been freezing. The coldest winter I can probably remember, actually. But this is getting my eyes yes, quite painful. <laughs> well, toilet paper so, burns quite well. It's the price we pay. But it has been really, really cold. And the thing about Melbourne winter days, yes. right, this is the thing. It has been scientifically ah, proven yes. that Melbourne is the coldest place on Earth. It is. Yes. I mean, places with snow, but all the cold is absorbed into the snow. That's correct. But in Melbourne, it's absorbed into you. That's right. And if you don't believe us, if you go down the streets of Melbourne, there are no polar no. bears to be seen. They stay away. That's right. It's, it's too, too cold. cold. Uh, not even any fairy penguins. Right. They, they visit for a short while to steal from the tourists yes. and then straight back to Antarctica <laughs> where it's exactly. warm. Exactly. Exactly. Uh... Okay, it's not quite that cold. Okay, we slightly exaggerate. Slightly. But it's what's really bad about Melbourne winter is it's so hard to do it is, anything. It is. It just gets inside oh, you. The cold just getting out of you bed from the inside out. I hate and getting out of bed when it's winter. It's very, dark on the way to work. Yes. It's dark on the way home from work. Yes. And it's always cold. It is. And it's very demotivating. Very demotivating. And I think, Des, mm. in some ways our spiritual lives can be the same. Yeah. It's really easy for our love for God to grow cold. Mm. If you look in the scriptures, lots of cases of that. Mm. And we can start out so well, loving God, mm. being passionate and excited, and just after a while, it just sort of cools a bit. Mm. And mm. one sign of that is that you know, doing what's right or, or, or doing things for God becomes like a chore. Yeah. Harder, it becomes like a responsibility, a burden, because that fire is dead. Yeah, pretty much. After Jesus died and rose again, uh, a few of his disciples were kind of discouraged. Mm, they very discouraged. Well, yeah, they didn't know what was happening and, and Jesus was gone and as far as they were concerned, life was over. Mm. And they were walking down the road and Jesus came to them. Uh, they didn't recognize him at first, but as he started talking mm. and explaining the scriptures to them and telling them what had just happened, something amazing happened inside of them. Uh, they said that their hearts started to burn within them. Their mm. love started to grow warm again. Their faith started to catch on fire again. And they were excited about loving and walking with Jesus. And so if you are feeling a little cold this winter, or if it's summer, even where yes. you are, if you find that your heart is gone a little cold, that your love is waning, yeah. then spend some time with Jesus. Yeah. Love Jesus, let him love you, and we'll see you next week.